Hi, I'm Anka Todrick, cookbook author, recipe developer, and mom of five, including two teens. Cooking with teens isn't just about whipping up meals. It's about creating a space for family connection in the kitchen. Join me as we explore the joys and challenges of cooking with teenagers, helping you navigate those tricky adolescent years. Whether you're looking for recipe ideas or just ways to connect with your growing kids, this show has something for you. The real recipe is quality time together. Now let's get cooking. Welcome back to Cooking with Teens. I'm your host, Anka Todrick. So I decided that the rest of the summer, all of July and August, I'm going to do a summer short series. I know everyone's got a lot going on, and sometimes we just need quick and easy ways to connect with our teens. So what I'm thinking with these episodes is that they'll be bite-sized somewhere around just five minutes, and we'll dive into simple tips and activities that can make cooking and bonding with your teen almost a breeze. And in my experience, when you just give me one actionable step, I'm way more likely to remember it. And although I love giving you a list of ideas or a whole list of recipes to do, I think especially with summer, it would be really great if you just check in here for, what do we have, nine weeks for July and August, and I give you one thing to do. And maybe out of all of them, your teen will resonate with one. And to kick things off, the first one is taking your teen to the local farmer's market. It is truly such a great way to bond. You explore some fresh produce, and then you can plan a meal together. Farmer's markets are pretty magical. You just feel this connection with food and the people who grow it. And one of the best things about farmer's markets is also the quality of the produce because food that's grown in season tastes better and has a lot more nutrients. If you think about a tomato at a grocery store in mid-February, it's mealy, it's tasteless, it's pretty disappointing. Now compare that to a sun-ripened heirloom tomato, which are my favorite tomatoes on this planet, at its peak in the summer, it is a total game changer. And to be quite honest, I think sometimes kids hate vegetables because they've been eating subpar ones from the grocery store. Not always, but if they're exposed to something that's in season, picked fresh, they're way more likely to enjoy it. This was one of the ways that my teenagers, when they were toddlers, I could get them to eat so many more vegetables one, because it tasted better, and two, because they picked them out themselves at the farmer's market. There's something about that autonomy of choosing the vegetable. They bring it home. They're so much more excited to help you cook it and then especially taste it because it's their zucchini or their green bean that they chose. I think taking your teen to the market really isn't just about picking up veggies. It's about giving them a deeper understanding of the food They can see firsthand the effort that goes into growing and what ends up on their plate. It's a great way to encourage healthier eating without a lecture. I'd love this to be a weekly thing with your teen, but if you could just go once this summer, if they're really apprehensive and they're giving you a hard time, just get them to commit to one time to go to the farmer's market to at least expose them to it. Plan your trip, mark your calendar, go The earlier, the better, especially in the summertime, to make sure you get the best produce that hasn't been in the sun too long. And you could always also bribe them. Most farmer's markets also have baked goods. Some of the best bread and pastries that I've had have been at farmer's markets. So you can always bribe your teen with something sweet. Set a budget. It'll be fun to see how they decide to spend it. And then explore together. Talk to the farmers, ask about their produce, see how long they've been doing it, how far they had to drive to even bring it. It's truly a whole different experience from grocery shopping, and it might really strike a chord with your teen. Then let your teen choose ingredients. I would highly suggest them choosing at least one ingredient or a vegetable that they've never tried before or fruit, and then one that In the past, they've said that they didn't like, but maybe just maybe they're willing to give it a try and then ask that farmer, what's their favorite way to eat it? Farmers have amazing recipes because they grow this stuff all the time. And usually they have some of the most simple and delicious recipes for their produce. And then when you get home, the fun part is figuring out what you're going to make with 
everything you got. It doesn't have to be all in one day. It could just be a simple sandwich. Maybe it's for your dinner. Maybe it's for your breakfast. Truly, going to the farmer's market is more than just shopping. I think it's an adventure. Your teen might say that's cheesy, but I think it's an adventure and a way to connect with your teen over something meaningful. You get to support local farmers. You eat fresh, seasonal food. You spend some quality time together. I really hope you give it a try, and you might be surprised by how much you both enjoy it. What would be truly amazing is if this becomes something you do at least monthly. Maybe you can't do it weekly, but it would be really cool to incorporate this into your schedule if you're fortunate enough to have a farmer's market near you. And then you do build a rapport with some of the farmers. You know them by name. Sometimes they hold the best stuff for you. It's one of the reasons I love having a local butcher is that you really connect with people and with food. And it just seems that we have less and less of that. Everything seems very disjointed and disconnected. But that's a whole nother episode. Anyway, that's it for this week's episode. I'll see you back here next week with a short-ish episode as well. Thanks so much for tuning into Cooking with Teens. Make sure to follow the show to catch all the new episodes. I'm also at The Butter Table on Instagram if you want to share your own teen cooking adventures. The good, the burned, and the inedible. Until next time, keep cooking up those conversations.